so a little bit. So, if we come into your wrestling stance again, guys, we're going to imagine we're part of the person up onto your shoulder. I'm going to use my hand to start to circle here. Again, just like a Mr. Miyagi style circle. Circle, get to the wrist control. My right hand will come up in towards the armpit. I connect up, dragging that arm past my body. And as I go shoulder to shoulder, I'm just going to step my right leg in. We go knee to knee and step in. Again, level changing on towards that leg, so make sure your weight is all the way through this front leg here, and then we can start connecting up into that single leg, or we can be picking up and driving off into a double leg where you'd be pulling your partner's legs off the floor. So, we're into our stance. I'm going to use my left hand to begin with. We circle to get to wrist control, right hand to grip, pull that arm in towards you. As we connect, we step in. Connect the hands as though we're going into a gable grip, but make sure we've got a good, nice stance. We should be able to touch the floor without bending from this position. All right, miss. So, we're going to go for uh, as many as we can. Again, to begin with, we're just getting loosened up. Just get used to your movement. Have a little hops in between. Circle, drag, step, catch. Just getting your legs waking up. Just getting loose as well. All right, miss. Let's get ready. One minute on the clock. Get set, and three, two, one, go. Again guys, nothing too crazy to start off with. We're gonna get into some more intense drills in a bit. If you wanna change sides, practice your arm drags on both sides, we'll go for that as well. Otherwise, we're dragging and picking. Circle, pull, and lock. And again, as we're moving here, I want you guys Focus on tension in certain muscle groups. So your shoulders should be locked in, your lats should be locked in, your quads should be tensed up because we lean on towards that leg. And again, play away, play around with your hand motions. They could be coming here at the knees or inside as a single leg. Good. Keep bouncing around. One more rep bounce. Circle, drag, three, two, one, time. Nice work. Relax there, guys. We just put the sound on so we can hear that timer. Sweet. Next movement, we're just going to brush the legs again, so we're just going to get warmed up. So get started in your stance. Again, one leg forward, one leg back. Uh, we're not too square, we're not too stagnant. We have that perfect in-between position. Front leg is going to take a step. As I take my step, I level change down. I brush my, my fingertips on the floor, switch stance, left leg lead, take your step, a level change, chest over the top of the knee, brush and switch. Again, just getting a bit of, bit of heat in the quadriceps, just reminding our legs that they can work. All right, guys? Get ready. See everybody's good wrestling stance. Should be protecting the front leg. Back hand is doing your hand fighting. Pop and somebody down. Three, two, one, go. Again, nothing too crazy here, guys. We shouldn't be expected to do like 60 lunges in a minute. Just get moving. And imagine your level changer for that takedown. Again, 
we're gonna, uh, if I have my left leg lead, my right hand's gonna post, and then I'm gonna put the corner around towards my left, making a little semi circle. So, hands to the floor, feet move back into my stance. Again, I can throw some down blocks, protect my lead leg, hand fight here, level change, and then start to post. Post, hands, and then pendulum step all the way around, and that's semi step. I'm in position, hand fight, protect, down block, move. Just move from here. If you do have mats, you want to drop that knee on the floor, make it penetrate your step, by all means, go ahead. Ready, guys? Go! Raise up the repetition. Some freestyle like motion. Hand five, level change. The more movement you create, the more mistakes our partner potentially make. So continue to level change, keep them guessing on which direction of the traveling in. Hand five, imagine it post on the head, shoulders, move the wrist control. Down block here, protecting the front leg. Change the side. 20 seconds left, back to keep moving. Three, two, one, ah. Nice work, guys. Okay. We'll move into our two mountain movements that we practiced last week next. So we'll finish off with two technical movements. We'll do one minute practice in the YouTube, one minute practice in our five minutes carry. So if you weren't in class last week, you start off with one leg forward, one leg back. Take a step forward on your left leg here. So whichever is your front leg. Take a step. My second leg will make a back step here. Step behind my calf, onto the ball of my foot. I'm twisting, taking my nose over the top of my toes while I lift my heel back up. Again, this is a much taller position, more upright, almost like I'm in street fighter. Ready? What? Okay. Take your step, make your back step, twist, put the weight into your standing leg, and then raise your heel towards the floor. Let the heel to the ceiling while your nose goes to the floor. Ready, guys? Go. Be deliberate with your practice here. 
We don't need to practice with speed. We just want to practice everything correctly. Big bottom weave, get under the arms, sit to the hip, get into position. Left leg lead, circle. next. Woo. Good work everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed the class or the training with me at the same time. If you liked it, drop a like down below. Click subscribe if you want more and I'll make some more videos for you guys. Thank you very much.